so we have created purchase orders now today we will see now how to receive the material and invoice it so now what is my purchase order which i just created we should know the number so now purchase order number is automatically appears which is based on the default uh, numbering sequence so maybe the last one is ours so this is the purchase order uh, it's not ours so we have to find which is ours purchase order okay so 39 is might be ours so click on this is that our own that's not our own yeah that's not our own now select and find which is our purchase order so do you know the number or we should know the part i think here? i see something like uh, 00027 but it looks like the 27 I'm seeing here is the 2016 delivery date, which is not correct. You remember ours was waiting. It looks like it has to go through a workflow. Maybe it wasn't approved in the workflow. Not sure, but it was confirmed. So let's filter with the confirm order. OK, first. OK. It will filter with the confirm order first thing. OK, after that, ours is open order. We are not received. So let's filter. Next filter is open. So only these purchase order are confirmed, but open. So now what is which one is ours? So this one is ours. OK, because okay. we know this okay. is our vendor. Correct. Yeah. So now this is the way you have to filter. If you don't remember the purchase order number, you can filter either with the vendor or then the status. So if you know the uh, vendor name, we can just simply filter with this vendor also. Yeah, so we should know at least something about that our purchase order. And then we can filter it out. Go to the purchase order now. So now I have created this PO. Now I received, for example, this 200 quantity first. So what you have to do, you go to the purchase order and go to the receive. This is the button called receive button and go to the product receipt. Mm -hmm. so now you click on the product receipt. So system will show, OK, you got the purchase order. Now in receipt, maybe delivery uh, challenge or invoice challenge. So you got the invoice for one item that number is something you put that number now receipt date maybe now today's date he supplied today only okay document date is the date which you will find into the uh, invoice so he printed the invoice yesterday the way you received the material today so that this date is the invoice date terms of payment we have not given so it is maybe uh, net five or net uh, 5 for example which is decided and we added here now go to the lines and you will find all the items of that purchase order okay out of that you received only one item this is the item you received 200 quantity for example so you have to remove all others to so select all from this button, you can select all and then remove only one which is received. OK, and then delete this. What it means, it will remove this receipt screen so that you will have only one item now and you received how many quantity. So this is the order quantity. And this is the quantity 200. If, if you received less quantity or change a change is quantity you can update here so your invoice will be based on this quantity not on this okay mm -hmm. so for example if you want to see for example you said only 100 of that quantity so automatically your invoice value will change 
So this value must be matched with the invoice number, whatever the number you are given, invoice two five two four five two. This must be matched with this number, net net value. Okay. So if you found no, there is some discrepancy. You can even change here. Directly you can change. So now you received full quantity, so two hundred. So this is the value of that invoice, and then. you you have this button if you received for example sometime you received 180 quantity or 199 quantity one quantity is not received okay you counted physically and you found this is the quantity this should one is missing and you call to vendor said no i received only 199 then he said no i sent 200 but you said i have physically count and this is my count he agrees that okay i made a mistake You make an invoice of 199 only. In that case, what you will do? Your physical quantity is 199, but your invoice value is uh, based on 200 quantity. So you cannot change this by your own. Okay, your invoice must be matched with this. So here you have to put only 200 only. Okay, and the value must be matched. That one quantity which is not received, we will create the Debit note later, but now you cannot do that. You understand? Mm -hmm. This invoice must match with this amount. Okay. Legally, you cannot do that. That you cannot change the invoice amount automatically. You cannot book the invoice which is having different value. Understand? So whatever yeah. happened, whether it is less quantity or any change in the price or something. So, if your invoice is having different uh, parameters, you should update this parameter here. For example, he said uh, instead of 202, you are given the purchase order of 202, but he said no, the rate has changed, and I sent in uh, 303 rupees. For example, so if it is allowed to change, it's a, it will allow, but it is not allowed, you cannot change here. So it is based on purchase order now. And you have to send back. Otherwise, you invoice it. So what you done? Your order quantity. Here you received now quantity. Okay, let it be here. Understand this. Current print product receipt will print the product receipt on screen. If not needed, just you skip blank. Select the quantity which is you received. Select the invoice number first. Then put the quantity you received. Put the quantity. And then you say okay. So this is the product receipt posting. So this posting is also a temporary posting. Means it is not the direct financial impact, but yes, it it has the impact. Now you see that out of two hundred, we received one uh, quantity, and the receipt uh, journal is there. So you click on the product receipt. you will see this is the journal so you can even you can print this journal and see what is the product uh, receipt so this physical quantity of that item is now increased so this is generally not useful but if you uh, have a stores department which shows that this product is received this is the my product slip you can keep it for your uh, reference so he can give it to the production department okay this material is received and this receipt is like this okay this is the product receipt now to track that whether this product is received and physical quantity is updated so what we need to go to the item this is my item in this item i can see the on an inventory so if i go to the inventory part and go to check the on an inventory so physical inventory is this 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 received reserve is 5 available for this is 6 then this is the overview of that item
So this screen will show you how many are in order atom, how many are in uh, uh, pending for orders. So all these details will be given by uh, details like, for example, this purchase order is this this interface and this date and quantity is 10. So this it will display all the details about that item here in this screen. Net requirement in the company on and the quantity adjustment is all these setups are there as an as when required we can use that. Now if I want to see the history of that item, we can go to the inventory module and check uh, what is happening with that uh, item. So for to check that, go to the inventory module. Inventory management. <clears throat> And then on and list. So I don't give any, uh, so begins with, begins with site is one, for example, leave it, no filter. Okay, so all are there. So what is my item is this, <coughs> D01, right? So in this item, I just click on this item. And click on the transactions. So this history, this is the history of the transaction, which tells us what is happened with this item in details. So particular date, it shows that okay, this item on that date, it's a purchase order and received with this okay. and how many quantity. So this this will tell you the details about the item received then sales order whatever so everything details will you will get into the transaction details okay how do you how do you reach here you go on to the inventory model from inventory model you click on the online item list here you go to the inventory model from inventory model you go to the Inquiries and on and list. On and so you, list. You went, you went to inventory management. Yes. Okay. Inventory management and then. Then you there are the item. If you don't select any filter, it will directly show all the items. If you want items starting with maybe begins with D. Mm -hmm. You can filter that. Okay, begins with D, and then you apply. So your items will starting with D will appear here only. So these are the okay. filters given here so that you can easily find out your items because there will be thousands of items in your uh, store. So it yeah. is very much important that you should search your item quickly. If you know the item number is fine. If you don't know, if you know only name, if you know only site, you know only warehouse, you know only serial number, you can select that filter here and then select that item. Then physical available, how much is available right now? This physical received is this available physical 206 because something may be reserved. So if it is reserved, it will remove from available. It is reserved by other uh, production order something. And then if you want the details about that, you can click on the transactions, how it's what happened about that item everything will be appear here in this detail list okay again you can have filter here either you want omit work order only display only yeah so 
so you can filter with this received only okay so this is all about the uh, product receipt how to create the product receipt you go to the purchase order screen you go to the um, the purchase order which you have created you have given the vendor so you received the invoice you got you went to that uh, you selected this okay this is rola i filter with my purchase order number vendor number gone to the purchase order click on the received i received item so click on the received click on the product receipt in product receipt you will it will show all the items now when you you already received one item so you can see here now your purchase order still showing uh, all the items and this t001 which is already received so no line number 2 so one is not there right what was our item which is d001 okay with this there are two things first is the same item but 200 quantity so this is we received already okay so that is now not available here for selection correct it is already received so now you cannot uh, receive the same again so now you if you receive the another another set of this which is having 10 quantity you can just again you can select all and remove two so if you received only two items you still remove this and then you delete this from the receipt screen and if you received the same quantity just select this and then say okay but before that you have to put the invoice number and then if you if, want if you if you leave it blank will it give you an error uh it is it should give but i don't know whether it's mandatory in the product receipt it is number not specified okay yes it's a validation and say okay okay fine and then you check that item status history of that is this clear till this receipt is done yeah should we go for the invoice now so now we, we do what now purchase invoice once you done the receipt you yeah. can go for the invoice so click on the invoice click on the this invoice generate invoice so now whatever the item which we received that can be invoice now by default this is the order and these are the items available okay so now here first of all what we have to choose invoice based on the receipts so now there are multiple receipts here and these receipts are three items are received till now correct one yeah. is the first uh, receipt and then there is a two items in the second so you can see there are three items are received but your invoice is one for this and other this is a different invoice mm -hmm. so i don't want to uh, in post invoice multiple so there will be different invoices for so what i need to do i have to remove this again similar fashion remove this and we'll remove from here
okay same is issued so everything is fine here invoice number is okay everything is fine just you have to put the invoice date so if you are putting invoice date is today the posting date is same due date will automatically calculate based on the term of payment so if it is 5 days correct so it is 25 plus 5 so it is 24 9 correct as per the payment term 5 days it's calculating the due date and in line details you will find the two details other details like uh, quantity unit price total amount okay so everything will automatically cover pick up from the purchase order and the receipt so once you received or uh, update check this all you can just say invoice so then you have to click on the post you can also attach that invoice if you want you can attach that invoice the copy here just add this invoice number if it is scan copy you can add the image of that browse from your pc Okay, I just select one image. <clears throat> okay, this is attached here, so it will display here. One attachment is here, and then close this, and then post it. So you can also check totals. It is good idea to check the totals before we post the invoice, because once you posted, it won't revert. or it will again you need to have a trouble if you want to do in changes so it is better idea to check everything is perfect here all discount then it is sales tax and all is okay close this and then you post it so now this vendor invoice matching validation not been performed one or more invoices you must update the match there is some match rules is set up so just update match rules and uh, let's see the match product receipt this one is there this is this quantity is unmatched zero so everything is matching here so date is this this is this 200 and then this 200 
so little we can see. Okay. So in the invoice number must be filled, which is important field. Invoice number. What was the invoice number? Two, four, five, two. Okay. And then you hold this. <clears throat> so this is the purchase invoice posting which will post the invoice into the financials now so when you post this it will automatically post the invoice into the uh, journals which is linked to the vendor posting profile so here is a journal and you click on this journal which will show you the financial journal and see the voucher so you will see the voucher if it is okay it's not yet journalized means that journal there is some setup is there where uh, we need to journalize this so it means sub ledger journals to be posted into the main account so that setup is there that's the reason it is still pending i guess so go to the gl module in this gl module there is a setup called journalizing and journalizing journals. So sub ledger journal entry not yet transferred. Okay. So these are the sub ledger entries which is not transferred. That we can transfer if it is that setup is there. So not here anything. Journalizing best transfer sub ledger journals. So maybe there is a batch. Let's see. So just to select sub source document type is or vendor invoice. And then this is OK. So let's see if it is transfer. If it is transfer, then we will get the once that posting is done. See now you can see the invoice. OK, so this it shows that which account is credited, which account is debited. So raw material receipt, which account is here, all this voucher we need to understand later. But this is the invoice which is actually posted into the finance or your main accounts. So we have seen that from product receipt to product invoicing cycle. Okay. So what we did, we have gone to the what we covered today, how to create vendor, how to create the vendor groups, how to create vendor posting profile, how to set up the method of payment, how to set up the payment terms, how to create the purchase order, how to uh, receive the purchase order, how to receive the uh, partial purchase, purchase, uh, purchase order, how to uh, confirm the purchase order, uh, then how to uh, receive the uh, purchase uh, invoice and oppose the purchase invoice. Okay. <clears throat>